Hello everyone, I'm Drumat and today we're going to play top lane Pantheon against an Atrox. Not Tulia today, but probably tomorrow or the next day we're going to do Tulia again. And for today we're going to play Pantheon with Ignite and Flash on top lane. And we're going to start with Corruption and I want to showcase or display after this invade a particular rune that I enjoy and... Throw a Q there. Go there, go there. Okay, so I'm playing Pantheon with Eclipse, Plated Steel Cap, something like that, into probably Shield, so Sterax or Black Cleaver. And I'm gonna start Q into the Atrox matchup. I'm gonna play with Conqueror, Triumph, Legend, Alacritic, Up the Grace. Note that you can play with. Uh, Press the attack as well, and that's interesting. <laughs> that's so funny. I want to say that I'm playing with Futures Market here. I, I lot I see a lot of play people playing with Biscuits and Time Warp Tonic and this kind of runes, but I think going for Futures Market instead of the Biscuits could actually help spike your items very well, and we will see if that helps or not. I'm against the Natrox. And their bot lane already started horribly, man. And this guy, I already hate him. But then again, it's my fault. Okay, got that. Got that the way. Okay. I got the flash. Simple enough. I think he wants to maybe come here. Yep. Okay. I'm confused by that flash because I still got him. Really confused by that flash. Well, now I'm gonna wait for my ignite, then I'm going to fight the Atrox. I'm not going to do that before. Have no reason to. So basically. Well, at lag though. I have no reason to I have no reason to fight this. I just uh I'm gonna cast an E here and I actually win this. Yep. Because I had the ignite. I enjoy it. Also, yes, this is a rank. so simple this guy is tilted it's a beautiful thing to be able to abuse this and we have a immortal shield bow on cog one would say gale force would be needed but apparently not okay a bit of a dive here simple didn't even need to flash even though i had it here my bad easy enough I'm too strong 7-0 Pantheon it didn't surrender no, this is clearly the Baron 
And if Atrox would have been a bit ahead in kills or experience, then it would have been a bit harder. As you can see, they kind of struggle. They kind of struggle. Okay. Again, get that. And we don't have that much gold. Certainly not. How much is the depth value that we can have? 260. And this is the point where I go dumb. Okay. Got that. And I could still just keep going. I love this! I just run them down, man. The Lulu, it just disappeared. That, go, that happens if you go Ardent first. Ivern wasn't even in this fight. And let's end. That was a beautiful... No? Okay, well, let's go top. Guess we're afraid of the Ivern defending. Okay, this is the win. And now we have free Baron and free end. If you don't, then now we're gonna really struggle with all the things that we've got. Okay, bridge base. As a team, get the last in here, watch them lose. Even though we play against an annoying comp, we've not really... Isn't this worth it? I cannot do anything here, man. And that was stupid. We don't win if we do that. Whoever pinged... Stupid. Okay. I like the fact that they escaped though. Cassix could pick them one by one here. If you wouldn't fight Daisy. Oh, get the tower. Get the tower. Nice. Nice. Enjoyable. Get this. Sacrifice for it, go! <laughs> Easy! Easy! <laughs> I trolled in the I, I was like I just want to limit test and that was bad but it went fine eventually. So that was the I don't know master tier game towards the grandmaster. I don't even know what LP I'm at. I have frame drops, I hate it, but I do feel good about this game. So this was the Pantheon tutorial guys. Still works, still doing fine with it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you play it well and see you next time guys. Goodbye.